Hey guys, welcome to a new video in this Linux tutorial. In this video here, we're going to talk about security uh, on the internet and security in Linux. So first of all here, we're going to talk about symmetric and asymmetric in encryption. So when we want to encrypt uh, an internet connection between two, um, two, uh, two endpoints. So what is the difference between symmetric and asymmetric uh, encryption? So in case of symmetric in ca uh, encryption, we have the same key for both the, 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 the sender and the receiver. So first of all here, we have the plain text here that we want to encrypt uh, so it can be seen on the internet. So when, when we're communicating um, with another client or like with another like server, then we want to encrypt the thing that we're going to uh, to send to the server because if we have a hacker that gets gets the information here um, inside, like in the, in the in the communication here, if a hacker gets access to that information, that could be really crucial. And in a lot of cases, um, if if it's personal information or like some different kind of like credit card information, then it will not be really good uh, to have this hacked here or like cracked by um, cry by a hacker. So we have this plain text here that we want to encrypt here with a secret key. And then we have this side of the text here, which is the encrypted text here. And then when we come to the receiver side here, we can actually like decrypt the, the cipher text here again and get the plain text on the receiver end. So in, in the case of symmetric encryption here, we use the same key for both encryption and decryption, where in asymmetric encryption, we have a public key and we have a secret key. So the sender here, it has a public key, which, which, it, which is DOS the encryption with, and then it saved this public key here um, and then the actual like and then the receiver here uses its secret key uh, to do the decryption. So we will send the secret key here to our uh, to our receiver, so we can actually like do it. So we have this public key and secret key pair, and then those two can be used to like do the actual like encryption and decryption um, of the in text or the information that we're going to transfer from the from the sender to the receiver. So the difference between these two here is that in symmetric encryption we use the same key and in the asymmetric encryption uses we use different keys where we have a public key and a private secret key. So the main the main uh, the main like um, pro here for the asymmetric encryption is just the security. So it's a more secure way to do the encryption with this asymmetric encryption and is also um, the most used ones of these two here. So now we're going to talk about the TLS handshake. So what happens when we want to um, to do a communication between uh, a client and a server. So first of all, here we have this SHL um, client here, which sends a hello message to the, to the SSL server here. Um, and then we send it with the SSL version and the cipher info that we actually like want to encrypt with. And then the server here sends back to the client with a, a, a hello with the cipher suit and the certificate plus a public key. So this will be the public key here that we're going to actually like do the, the, the encryption with. And it also sends a certificate for the SSL server to do more, uh, to have more security when we're doing this communication and encryption. So our secret key here uh, is calculated from a value, random value encrypted with the server uh, public key, which we got from the server here um, with this hello message here. And then we send here, we send the secret key here that we calculated from this val random value here that we got from the public key to the server. And then the client finishes its, hands its, its handshake. And then when the server here receives the public key here that, that, that we have now, like this, the secret calculated key here um, that we've calculated, when it receives this, then the server finishes and sends back like an, an acknowledge. And then the, at the bottom here, I like a symmetric encryption data with shared secret key can now happen between a server and a client. So this will be an encrypted uh, an encrypted communication between the server and client when we get down here. And now the like TLS handshake uh, has completed and we can now have and encrypted uh, communication between this server and client. So we're also going to talk about like what is a certificate authority because when we're talking about like communication on internet and when we want to like encrypt the messages and the communication between uh, and a server and a server and a computer like or a, a client, then we need a certificate uh, of authority uh, authority to like actually like verify that this is a secure uh, connection. So we have like a apply account here where we have some in, the, in identifying information from that um, from that like let's say we have a web server that we want to have uh, get a certificate for. So we need to identify this information here for our web server or like a website, and we have to have this public key here where we can generate this um, um, this request here for a certificate. And then we will send this request here to the certificate authority, and then it will validate the identity of this web server here, or website, or company. And then, if it validates the identity, then it will generate 
um, a generate a signed certificate and send it uh, to like uh, the applicant. And then we also have this private key here for the certificate uh, authority. And then we have when we have generated this uh, signed uh, certificate here, we actually like have a reliable connection and use this SHL here, where in SHL we actually like have um, have have like the connection. Like this is actual like encryption of the connection between uh, a server and a client. So we have this SHL here, where we have these different kind of uh, certificate authorities. So this is a way to like inc encrypt and unencrypted uh, communication between a server and a client and then we have this certificate authority like hierarchy where uh, we have different kind of like um, authorities that can actually like uh, uh, validate a certificate and then we can see like um, how trustworthy and like how secure um, is this connection here to a certain website or stuff like that. So that's it for this video here guys we've been over like security where we have talked about um, symmetric encryption and we've talked about the TLS handshake and certificate authority and how the security works on an internet and when you're browsing the internet and also like how it works in Linux. So thank you guys for watching this video and remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video and also like the content here if you want more in the future because it really helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.